Uh, another day surrounded by rock. <laughs> Nothing but rock as far as the eye can see. Last time we repelled a raid of pirates, and we stole all of their sniper rifles. They actually had fairly good sniper rifles. I don't know what good sniper rifles are on a map that's completely covered in rock. Probably not very good, but really we'll be better off with close quarters weapons and IEDs. Fortunately, we have an awesome count of resources and uh, we're nearing completion on research for microelectronics, which will give us nearly anything. Since we've survived far longer than I ever imagined we would though, I'm going to refocus the playthroughs, eh, the playthroughs goal on Tynan. Tynan is royalty, he's currently an acolyte of the Shattered Empire and he needs more abilities. More abilities are good and so he needs he uh, needs ruffled clothing, he needs a top hel uh, ruffled shirt, top hat, any prestige armor, and any psycaster apparel. Much of this can be had at the tailoring table, but we need to research it first. See right here. Cherie is throwing a party. Everyone who goes will gain recreation and social energy and a lasting positive mood boost. She's throwing it at the table. I love sitting around the table with my people. Another thing we can do to speed up work is just to lower Tynan's required Psy Focus. He doesn't really need it right now because he's not using his powers, he's just doing day-to-day -day tasks. So I see this as totally fine. We can also manufacture smoke leaf now, which means that we can set everybody to pretty much not go on mood breaks. We got microelectronics, so we'll start researching noble apparel. But drug policies can be very delicate. Only if they really have a low mood do I want them to use this. I'm gonna replace the ambrosia with smoke leaf. Uh, well, eh, we could have both. That's fine. And we're being raided by the Xenarth Mech Hive. They're attacking in transport pods. Oh, uh, but they came in from the top of the map. Ooh, that's a lot though. Fortunately, we do have a lot of spike traps this time. We can just reinstall them around and we know exactly where they'll come in from. One. Two, three, four, five, six. We have plenty of room. Okay, everyone installs one. Go, 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 go. Okay, here they come. They're fast. They're really, really fast. Go get them, get them, get them, baby. Get them, get them, put that down. Okay, put that thing back where it came from. Go. Mm. Oh, God, no, there's no time. Uh, hang on. Wait right there. Wait. Wait. Don't do anything. Okay, everyone is drafted. They're ready to go. Okay, we'll hold them at the doorway. Sienna's a brawler. Right now, though, I don't care. You have frag grenades. Cherie has a machine pistol. You stand here. Tynan stands here. And Thunder stands here. And in this way, I hope we win. Put this out front. Go get ready. Are they fleeing? No, they're running back to the other ones. Then they're gonna come back in. And how is this gonna work? They, like, change their minds every few seconds? Okay, uh... All right, um, no, don't hit the wall. Damn it, they're hitting the wall. Man, that was an expensive wall. Okay, desperate times call for hand grenades. So for my first hand grenade. Wow, they've, you've already taken down the whole wall? I thought silver was harder than that. Okay, stand right there, you're gonna blow it up. Let's try using this explosion. Get everyone else in place, we'll have to fight them off in the throne room. Go, baby, go. Go, good. Attack him, attack him. Stunt. Uh, why did I lower Psy Focus? Yeah, raise Psy Focus. Fortunately, he already has some Psy Focus ready. Okay, see if we can do it just like this. And, oh, that was not well thought out, and, but okay. We'll make it get into cover, and it's fine. Good. Nice. Okay, we have long range here. We got that one. And we could use our stun on the last ones. And our battle yell. Okay, use your stun. Good, these guys are long range. Nice. And uh, since vision is important, let's try blinding them. Good. Okay, we got one. And there's one last pikeman we've got to take out. This thing is... Uh, no, 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 don't... Uh, fuck, he shot. This could be like a... Ooh. Well, that was a lot of property damage, but we're all fine. Thank God we have those spike traps. I did not expect that to happen. Just rebuild the silver throne room. Back to work. Good job, people. Good job. Back to mining. We have a new quest. Scourge pods. You really do get a lot of choice with these uh, royal quests. Domos, a freeholder of the Shattered Empire, is making a request. A Medicanoid swarm has been attacking his settlements. He wants you to signal the mechs to distract them while he clears the hive. If you do, a mechanoid crust, not cruster, cluster will land at Vietnam. The centipede, a scyther, an EMI dynamo, a mech capsule, and three mini slugger turrets. This looks like a really nice vest. Well, I think that we should accept, ex I'm just gonna wait another day while we get some stuff ready to deal with this. Now they'll land at Vietnam, so they could come through the ceiling. That's a, that's a definite fear. Can I deal with a centipede? We do have 2250 plasteel. What I'm saying is we just build a lot of traps and then we like seal the entire place off with them and then we run. Okay, let's just get a bazillion traps ready out here. We'll put them all 
in the bedroom so that they can at least get ready. Then they can reinstall them all around the base, all around the compound. If we're ready in time, we'll call in the raid. We got four days to get ready. Man, our colony's disgusting. I'm gonna need to work on the floors. Just one of many problems. Limestone tile all about. And we have another quest, Paid Volcanic Winter. We could get a masterwork harp. A vengeful machine persona is threatening the outlanders of West Vemia. Prime Counselor Osamu Randall wants to send you a message to the Persona accepting responsibility for their transgressions. He'd like it if we accepted Volcanic Winter for them. Seriously harming the local ecosystem. It'll make them like us. Or he could give us a really nice harp. We don't actually have 11 days worth of food, so... I just... I don't really like him that much, so... F him. Still though, we have one day on the Scourge Pods. 1.2 days. I'd really like to see this happen. And we have enough plast steel traps to deal with it. This might actually be enough. Uninstall all of these. Get ready to reinstall somewhere else. And I accept your challenge for an Eltex vest and the gold. I want the Eltex vest. The champions have arrived. Oh, we have champions that are- I love champions. Oh, I love it when these people come. Great, we got two champions uh, with a war hammer and another war hammer. And the mechanoids have arrived. Oh, they're gonna just be- <laughs> Oh, I love that. Oh, I love that. That's so adorable. They're sleeping. Well, this could be horrible. But we could just, uh, well, we have- we know exactly where they'll come in from. Oh, I like it. Let's just reinstall these over there. We built out this entire path specifically to- uh, uh, get to the edge of the map. This will serve the purpose of taking us further to that side. Oh, they're sleeping. And we can just use these people for their labor until they actually attack. Great. I love our relationship with them. Good. Bring in the traps. And we get a cold snap as well. It's permanent summer, so this just means normal cold. I think that'll be enough traps to deal with whatever's in here. I worry about that and these, but we can just let them sleep until then. Or we could mine it out to get rid of these people, but for right now, I'm fine with using them for their labor. But I question why you would give someone all of this armor and then a wooden war hammer. Well, there aren't that many mechs, and these two are expendable. Our cold snap has caused, uh, an early harvest, and I'm looking for something to do. So I'm going to draft them. Mine, mine here and here and here. You're completely expendable. Unfortunately. Wow, these people really have some drug problems. Okay, we just need to take out the mechs. One at a time, one at a time. There we go. You can, uh, go, go. Okay, gently, gently. Take it out. Now, this may be enough armor to take out one of them. I've not tried a colonist with this much armor yet. If not, we have some backup. Come on, just lead it back in. Just lead it back. Are they really gonna sleep through the whole thing? Ooh, the turrets are turreting. Ooh. Okay, here it comes. And she is Dressed. Who could blame her? Well, we'll get her stuff. Maybe even her gear once she's done. Tynan wouldn't mind. I really value the gear just as much as the colonists, if not more. One, that did some damage. Two, how much will that do? Ooh, okay, well done, well done. Three, this is the biggest enemy of them all. And it's, oh, it's turning back. Okay, bring it in. We do need this thing all the way done. I really, really am not a big fan of mechanoids. Come on, just use the ban hammer to get rid of him. Ooh, don't hit those yourself. Now, I should say there is danger in this. Yeah, I'm gonna lose these guys we just got. Oh well, come on, just get him. Get him to come on over. Hey, good, good. Good, maybe this war hammer will do more damage. There's a possibility after you tripped over a spike trap and neither survived. Wowzers. Okay, Tynan has one small mission that is stripping them and just getting their gear. There's a really short line of sight here, so we gotta blind this thing ASAP. Three, two, one, go. And stunned. Just shoot it in the face and... Nope. Okay, run. Run. F and run. Run back. Run there. And it's- I think it's coming. Come on, baby. Come on. Oh, what did you do? What? No, 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 come out here. Okay, fine. You stand there. I didn't want you out here. Good, good. Okay, and take a shot and step back. Step back, people. Step back. Good, let it hit that thing. Let it hit- it's got two more traps. It'll die before it gets to us. Really, all I need are these people's armor. Oh, no, don't stop there. Okay, take another shot. Take another shot. And... This is the most unaware centipede I've ever seen. Ooh, get out of there, man. Come on. Dude, you can't just do that and then, like, and then just hang, you know? Okay, good. Get the thing. Oh, man, I really wanted their armor. Good, good. And snipe and stun. Stun it. Stun it. Fuck. One more shot. One more shot. Come on, you got time, you got time, man. Good. Okay, run. Run over the fire. Ah, oh, fuck. He's on fire. Burned on the head, and he's alright. He'll recover from- Dude! Wait for it, wait for it. We got like one more shot at this. Here it comes. We can stun. 
Shoot it. Shoot it in the face. Oh, dude. No, how is- this is the worst centipede I have ever met. Okay, Tynan, just run. Run, baby. Run. Let it come. Shoot it in the face. Shoot it in the face. There we go. There we go. And it's lowering. It's lowering its weapon. Oh, shit. Now just stay in cover. Stay in cover. And we took it out. Put this fire over the home area. Uninstall these and go. I don't think we're gonna be able to get to these guys. Tynan's gone berserk. We actually need to beat him from that. Not a good mental state. Sienna's a brawler though. She could take him down. Yeah, one of them died. That won't really anger their faction though. We just got more stuff. The other mechs seem to be sort of trapped in here. I don't think there's much they can really do from inside of that stone. We'll set up traps, but I think we can just pretty much leave them there. This might have been a battle we never even needed to fight. Although the other one died. Ericus has survived and uh, I guess we'll just set him off to work. I mean, Tynan got badly enough injured in that last fight. I just don't think that these mechanoids are gonna attack us from in there. We'll wait until we're better equipped to deal with those turrets. I don't know about fighting a stationary target. We need assault weapons. Speaking of which, let's get a comms console and an orbital trade beacon. I'm sure we could put these to better use. We can always call the Shattered Empire for help. They're our greatest ally. And nope, we need to be allies. So we need to do more than that. Oh, we can still get pirate bulk traders. Hmm, but now that I think about it, paid volcanic winter? I want a masterwork harp. Okay, I'll have volcanic winter for 11 days. All it means that all the local wildlife will die anyway. Al Gore would be proud. Okay, we get volcanic winter, some distant volcano or volcano. Volcano or fire has begun. And a, a pod has arrived. I like it how the harp just kind of falls out of the sky along with the ashes from the presumable volcanic winter. Okay, I hope it looks nice. Oh, it's recreation. Okay, well, that's wonderful. They needed more recreation anyway. Go get that harp, son. Oh, there's a party! By time- Tynan was so busy with mining, though. Oh well, okay. Let's put this harp in the main room. Where is Tynan throwing the par- okay. Hey Tynan, uh, would you mind installing that harp at your party? Thank you so much. And there goes the harp. Now, good, Sienna can play for everyone. Though, brawler, she is a gentle soul. Oh, and she wants to sit in his throne. Well, this should be incredibly nice. Extremely impressive now in the room. We have a plague too on Sienna. Great, love a good plague. Ooh, the harp actually makes sounds. The music soothes the savage beast. He even gets a buff from listening to the harp. The music is so soothing. Great noble apparel. Next we need smithing to make gold, gold tile. All right, works for me. Oh, I forgot we would run out of power from that. Nope, you know the drill. This is also acceptable. Whoops, wrong spot. Put her there. Good, good. Ah, uh, the power of wood. That along with- Oh wait, what, what? I thought the sun was blotted out. Never mind, apparently. We got a mad Ibex ram. Fairly remote. Oh shit. I think the plague is going to take her. She's kind of snuck up, but yeah. Even with 41% 10 quality, which for our doctors is pretty decent. Oh, this is going to be a sad day. Death is not the end. And at least it was before they got married. Mmm, he's gonna be pissed though. He's pissed. Oh, he didn't really like her, so... Oh well. Oh well, the real- the real champ here is Tynan. Oh, that's kind of sad though. Ugh. I just have no attachment to any of them except for him. He's the only one I named. He's the only one I named. Oh, wait. Well, maybe they'll send me somebody better. Now, are you torn- I really like you because you're the researcher. She was, uh... She was a brawler with ranged skill. I didn't like her anyway. No, oh, he's an ambrosia tolerance. He's taking drugs to combat the depression. Oh, he's getting the double debuff from friend and fiance. Good thing we have all of these smoke leaf joints. That'll help you get back up to speed. Ooh, this guy is really, he's really about to snap. We need to give him some stuff. This, he can't function without wake up and psych IT. This is really a scary situation. Okay, we've got him better now. And he, he can walk again. Jesus. I think before we go any further, we need to get rid of these things. They're just on my mind right here. Go one by one. Do it defensively. There we go. And we have smithing. You can also get royal apparel. Or plate armor. I kinda want the plate armor. I'll take that. Okay, and Thunder and Cherie are just hitting it off now. Well, it looks like we're gonna recover from that pretty quickly. Ooh, and it's vomit Ah, Dude. Okay, everybody inside. Damn that vomit rain. Uh, no, don't try. This is a weird event. This is a weird event. Don't try to clean it. Don't even try. Well, at least the worst of it is ending. Right, well, that was a shit chill. We can go back out again. Okay, now, 
for the next part of our plan. Arrakis is expendable. I hate to say it, but we just don't really... I mean, th there's nothing long-term about this guy. So you know the drill. And will we aggro them? Just one more thing of sandstone. Let's see if we can get him out before those turrets start firing, though. And we're gonna have to run him as soon as he finishes this off. Run. Run. Oh... No! Not a good time, man. Not a good time, but at least you're going the right way. At least you're going- No, just a few more steps, please, for Christ's sake. Oh, dude. Not a great time to go on a daze. Not the ideal- Not the ideal time. Jesus, at least I'll attract them over. And it looks like his shield pop belt is dealing off, uh, most of the turn- Okay, there we go. One, attract the other- Maybe he'll just inadvertently cause the other one to wander in. Okay, okay. Oh, yeah, that's a great spot to wander, just randomly. Oh, okay. Yeah, just befriend it. I think this is why I stopped playing RimWorld a few years ago. Jesus. All right, um, great, great AI. Oh, dude, no. Well, he did stun it. It's all because he wanted an impressive bedroom to- Okay. All right, that's how you die. I've just accepted that. You deserve that. I'm more- I'm more upset about the loss of the Plasteel Warhammer, to be honest. But whatever, maybe this thing will wander into the spike traps? Maybe? It looks like it will. The last thing we'll just have to deal with is the turrets. It's just the turrets. Good. No, yeah, go for a walk, man. Just like your friend Ericus over there. Uh, Ericus, at least he won't be in a daze anymore. <laughs> yeah, he died of burns. Now he's just a f He lives on setting a fire in our hearts. <laughs> Okay, good. You're getting closer to the spike traps. Ah, and our food harvest. Fantastic, we will survive. Oh, you know, this mechanoid is a real tease. It keeps walking up to the spike trap and then just standing there. New quest, safeguarding an ally. No, I'd have to fight- I'd have to fight Seth. I can't fight Seth. He's so good. We got plate armor. And I don't know what to say on this map. I think that the next thing we need to go for is mortars. It seems like every threat that comes at us, we just need to hit indirectly. I felt like if we just had barriers and mortars, we could pretty much beat anything on here. Plus, we have all these leftover incendiary shells from before. A squirrel has self-tamed. Oh wait, it's so far away. We are rapidly running out of food. But there is huntable stuff. Mountain lion, timber wolf, bunny. Good, go on the hunt. Run, 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 get inside. Okay. Get ready to fire at will. There we go. Oh, those Feratu? It, it really looks like a horror game right here. Especially with the braziers lit. And yep, this mechanoid has spent like a month outside of this trap's range. It seems like he wanders just up to the trap and then he goes back. This is severely annoying me, so I'm going to go do something else. I'm gonna use the time to get smarter. While you wandered around and my lights flickered, I researched bombs. More quest supplies for Gallo. Ooh, Itamu joins. Who are you? A paramedic. Psychically deaf. I actually like this trait. Careful shooter and greedy. Greedy is not so bad. I can deal with that. But I'd like a doctor to prevent what happened before. She's good with plants. Social. And she's a royal bastard. Well, come on in. We need 13 pants of normal or greater quality. You trade a person for 13 pairs of pants? It's kind of far away, so we'll have to... We should have gotten the pants ready. But I don't think it'll be so hard to make 13 pairs of pants. We already have six. I'll make so many pairs. Here we go. Ugh. First one, good. We have another normal quality one here. Another, no, uh, this one's, no, actually this one's okay. This one is okay. Awful, awful. How did you redo here? Normal. Come on, it's stress to make pants. No, they didn't say we couldn't have human leather. And yeah, let's go gunsmithing. Here we go, more of the required pants. Just a little more. Normal. Come on. Good. And yeah, we get, ah. Uh, dude, two muscle parasites? Well, if it doesn't stop them on their journey, that's fine. Making all those pants for nothing. They want the pants. 1.6 days to get there. We could make it. But on the other hand, we do have now have gunsmithing. And mortars are only one step away. It's time to go on the pants journey. Just two more pairs. Make them out of patch leather. We need more solar panels. We got a man in black. That's kind of strange. It's a random event. I guess we were in trouble. Partly from TTK, I think, still doing this. But he's jealous, and he has a chemical fascination. He'll fit right in. He's also a decent researcher. Okay, you know what? We'll send you on a journey. Just take off your pants. We're gonna need them for something. No, really, take off your pants. Oh, you want to cook? Be my guest. He actually could be a decent cook. Okay, Ellis, uh, no pants. That's the first rule. No one here wears pants. Okay, just don't wear those. Bring them back in. Haul those back, and we're going on a journey now. I like you more than any of the other colonists. You know, you get right to work. Okay, we're gonna form a caravan with Ellis, since we didn't even think he would be here at all. 
And Tynan, why not? Bring all the pants you can. I think that's more pants than anyone could ever want. Takes two days, we'll do it. Bring plenty of medicine. Plenty of medicine and plenty of food. We'll have to trade for more when we get there. Confirm, go. All right, bring all the pants with you, good. Well done, be on your way now, be on your way. Uh, you know what, you're sick, you stay home. Just have the new guy do it to prove himself. Great, be on your way now. I hope you don't die out there. And Jesus Christ, this guy did not get anything done. Uh, you know what, just, uh, fuck, he's stuck now. All right, Ellis, uh, you, you know what, you take your pants. I'll, I'm just gonna take you. I think, uh, I think you'll just do fine here. You just mine your way up now. Unload those, you know what, you're, whatever, fine. We'll just take you in replacement of the other person we were gonna use. It's fine, I love you equally. And he's gonna break before he gets back. What a waste of a man. Like, really? That's so sad. Well, at least he'll make it back to us. Nope, nope, he's gonna kill- Okay, well, great! Actually, I wanted you to slaughter that squirrel, so you took out your anger, you had a catharsis, and it was what I wanted. Wow, that worked out so perfectly. Okay, welcome, welcome, join us now. Sorry, squirrel one. You know what, just forget about the pants. They're just not worth it anymore. And another new quest, the enormous structure. Mysterious this message has arrived. It seems it was transmitted by a machine persona that refuses to name it. That's always a good start. It seems it was transmitted by a machine that- My name is 13 by 13 in its size. We need to build and it requires these resources. Uh, we do actually have access to all that. Oh, that's all that we need to do? Who is this guy, Fox? He is really good at melee and really good with animals. Trigger happy, bloodlust, optimist, intellectual passion, psychic insanity lance, psychic shock lance. The Altex hail helmet is nice. It's a masterwork too, but I really just want another colonist. I'll take him He's an optimist. Always worth it to have an optimist. What happens if we don't make it? Okay, sandstone, granite, limestone, slate. Whatever, I'll do it, I'll do it. Just bump up that production, baby. We have rare thrombos. Well, despite the fact that I want mortars, I also want EMPs, and we just have tons of resources for it. So we can make grenades and launchers of EMP shells. Mine, mine, mine. Craft, craft, craft. Cooking. And just a little ways to go on mortars. And there we go. Next we'll want to build the, you know, the mortars. Right here. Near the weed. And that means we can make shells. High explosive. EMP. We already have incendiaries. Shit. It's not close enough. How about here? Still not close enough. How about here? We'll just put the shells nearby. And it looks like all we have are incendiary shells. Not great, but it could be worse. Let's see if we could at least aggro these things. Well, they're here right now. And it looks like, okay, they do want- he does want to- Oh wait, they could hit anything anywhere on the map. Then that's fine. Just dandy. Oh, the accuracy is awful. Jeez. Okay, let's move this thing back. Put it right on top of our base. Move this over here. Man, the mortar. Come on, baby. Oh. Come on, you have to, like two more shots. All you need to do is aggro that one guy. Oh. And again, please? Give it another try. Oh. Well, that was a fail. Can you try? Get oh. Well, it's many, many more attempts sadly missed on the, uh, mechanoids. We can, at the very least, shred all the mechanoids that have come through here, though. Oh, Thunder's on an insulting spree. It's probably the end before he gets over his fiance's death. Just beat the crap out of him. Good. Feeling like you got it all out of you. I guess that the last thing we can do is just build that enormous structure that they wanted. I gotta make room. I gotta make room. We'll mine out right here. Sure, he gets the materials ready. Well, this is turning out to be a massive undertaking for one colonist. 400 of each type of stone block. Olaf's many friends. 28 year old nurse named Olaf is calling from nearby. He admits he profaned. A peace ritual between blah blah blah. Now they're both chasing him. We're gonna get raided by two separate colonies if he joins. What is he like? We don't even know what he's like. Double raid. We have the plasteel traps now. I think I know well where they'll come in from. Sure! I love the name Olaf. It reminds me of Count Olaf. Okay, please don't be horrible. Psychically dull, misandrous, abusive. Oh, incapable of violence. Well, he's a good cook. Welcome aboard, I guess. Right there. Bring in those pants, I guess. Uh, yes, yeah, I'm gonna regret this. Oh, well, at least it drums up some excitement. I'm tired of peace. Yeah, he'll, yeah just take all of our clothes. That's, uh, polite. And then get to them off to work on this structure. Can't be placed adjacent to a building. Okay, there? Right, whatever. It's taking over half of the cotton, but I just want to get this thing going. I think Cherie just needs one more day on all these stone blocks. Also get geothermal power going. And we'll probably want to start building plasteel spike traps outside. This could be a massive raid. Like, really big. Hopefully they'll just hit each other along the outside. That has happened many times in the past. 
Oh, wait, we didn't need all of those different stones? Oh, for crying out loud. Well, Jesus, now we have more stones than we could ever need. Let's make it all of, out of sandstone. Jesus Christ. I have enough for a fortress now. And gut worms on Cherie. Great timing. And we got the raid coming in. Olaf's many friends. One, two. I think it's just two ra Oh, and the merchant gang. Okay, so <laughs> three raids, three raids at once. But they, unfortunately, they all come in at the same place. Come on, get ready, people. Quickly, 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 let's get done with this. And I'm drafting you. Get out of there, Thunder. Get out of there, get out of there, get out of there. And they will go kaput. Good. Uh, no, no, back up, back up. Uh, good. Uh, fuck. Okay, there. Okay, keep building. Come on, they're gaining. And we got one. Okay, he's, he's stopped. He's stopped. He's stopped. We're like halfway done with this. This is so sketchy. Go run, run back in, back in. Good, good, good. Get a few, just get a few more. Enough to demoralize them. Enough to demoralize. Good. These are really effective. Jesus. Okay, good. Go inside, go inside. Don't let them in. Don't let them in, don't let them in. Somehow they've fought over here. Sniper rifles get everything. Frag. You have a revolver, use it. Olaf, you're non-violent. Just sit there. And tie and get ready. Okay, we got the tribes people to go, but we still have the pirates to deal with. And let's go flush them. Flush them. Good, good. Strip them quick, strip them. Ooh, a chain shotgun. You know what? Take that instead. That's gonna be a lot better than what you got right now. Sorry, sorry, gotta come. <laughs> just making out like bandits. And can you step on one more of those tri- Ah, uh, good. Okay. Wow. Shit, fuck. Strip everybody. Chain shotguns are not bad. I don't think any of these guys will survive it, though. Sorry, Olaf. You just weren't- you weren't worth it for all that. That was a lot of trouble, man. Okay, just finish off this mysterious tower. We survived Seth Zintach. The merchant gang, eh? I know the work of Seth when I see it. Finish off the building, finish off the doors, deliver the last materials, roof it up, finish off those floors. That's the ticket. There we go. Several cliffs later. We finally have enough. Twitch Toolkit keeps sending me all these men in black. But at the same time, I know that they'll go out in a blaze of glory. This one's named Mailman. And they're all, none of them are particularly good, so I think it's fair. I mean, I'll be sent worse events by Randy with worse people. Alright, just send me all of the crappy people. I'll do whatever you want with him. This one's an artist, and that should be enough. Our stro- Ooh, fox joins. Is he like a real fox? Okay, he's not bad. He's like an animal man. Trigger happy, bloodlust, optimist. Those are great traits. He's got great melee. I'm okay with that. He's also kind of tribal. 1773 years old, and somehow mailman came out of this as well. And they'll get sleeping spots. But why does everything I create turn into like a dude ranch? I guess that's just the nature of it. But. <laughs> well, that was all just far more than I expected for one day. We still have a mechanoid just wandering around. I think I might just sacrifice some of these men in black to it. I mean, we have three men in black now. Like, the names... The names will start to happen. I don't know, maybe hundred, hundred men- No, I, I'm not- I can't say that. Hundred men, man in black colony. It would be bananas. Anyway, I think this is starting to be shaped more just by the random Twitch toolkit events than perhaps by the meteors themselves, but it, it kind of slows things down, you know? Like, it slows things down and it causes everything to come in on one path. It's a very narrow way to play. So you're not exposed to a lot of things, and I find it a bit easier. Plus you have more metal. But I think that's been enough for one day. I hope you enjoyed. As always, my name's Ambiguous Amphibian. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.